Good morning, everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. Dynamite service with explosive results. As you can see, we've got a guy up in the high reach right now. That's a 135 foot high reach. And you can kind of see the difference. Um, if you look down here, you can see what those garages on the backside look like. And you can sort of see what the roof looks like. I'm gonna show you some of my work that I did yesterday. So you can really tell. You see the difference between those two? You've got this one here. This is jet black. And then you've got this one here. This is absolutely beautiful. The ridge, everything is gorgeous. So we've been uh, inside of this um, condominium association uh, since Monday. We're gonna finish up on Thursday. So it's a four day shoot. And um, there's a total of uh, three large buildings. They sit uh, right on the water. And uh, the very first building, building number one, sits right on the ocean. So you've got the Intracoastal Waterway and the ocean. And you can see some of you know what these garages look like. If you take a look in the distance, this is what we're gonna be shooting right now. We're just using a four gallon a minute uh, air pump. Um, and, uh, and that's really, really working good. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, you can pick one of these up for $500 at, uh, it's a North Star machine and uh, Northern Tool carries them. In here, we've got some soap. We've got some extra SH. We've got a lot of SH in there. And then we've got another uh, 55 gallon vertical tank that's um, stuffed with about 30 gallons right now as well. You can see that uh, right in there. If you take a look, you can see where the SH is at. So it's about 30 gallons right there, plus another 50 gallons right here. And then you've got another 15 sitting down here. You've got 10 in here. I mixed 10 gallons of SH to three gallons of water and um, about five ounces of soap per five gallons. Um, so this is that North Star machine. And um, this is a bleach pump, guys. This is North Star four gallon a minute uh, bleach pump. Uh, this is a 12 volt system. It runs off a deep cycle marine battery. And um, that battery, we just run a trickle charger. I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, we just run a trickle charger and extension cord. So there is your trickle charger right up here. And uh, that'll tell you how much juice you got left. And then you just plug that in overnight, let that charge a little bit. So far, it's been holding a great charge. If you look down here, there's a little uh, metering, uh, battery meter here, and you can see that the battery is completely full. So um, that's 75 feet of 5 8 inch hose. And then there are a couple of, um, uh, a mini J-Rod that goes off there with a shooter tip and a fan tip. But I've found that if you put the Davis shooter tip on there, you get a lot longer range. And I'll, I'll take you in the truck right now because I need to put those in my pocket anyway. And I've just kind of stored everything conveniently so that I don't have to uh, deal with too much. This is the J-Rod. I mean, I'm sorry, this is the Davis shooter tip. And um, normally I unpack everything, got everything, but for this particular job, we're not using a high pressure machine. Um, we're just applying a uh, very hot mix to the roof and then allowing the, uh, the rain to rinse it off because we're getting lots and lots and lots of showers. So the longer you leave that chem on there with these barrel tiles, the better you get uh, a much, much gorgeous look. So uh, I am shooting off of that um, 16 foot ladder down there. Let me slip this in my pocket. You'll be able to see what that looks like. So I just crawl up on, climb up on that ladder and, um, and shoot with this machine right here. And once again, um, this comes with a spare head because uh, the pumps don't go bad because they're a bleach pump, uh, but the cartridge here will go bad. So they, can, they give you a spare one there. Now you can upgrade this to a five and a half if you want. Um, you can put a bunch of things on it. The only drawback is it's only a 13 gallon tank. So uh, you have to sort of be easy on the trigger and be prepared. And that's what this little makeshift dolly here is for to transport all of those uh, down my run. Um, but it really helps out on a job like this and, uh, and gets things done. So I appreciate everyone coming out with me this morning and taking a look at the work. Uh, we're just about to get started. The winds are picking up off the ocean. So it's really important that we get started. Everybody have a great day. Keep cleaning, TNT pressure cleaning, dynamite service with explosive results. Those roofs are really cleaning up nicely. We've got one more building here in the distance uh, to do, and that'll be this one here. And you can kind of get an idea of what those buildings look like. I also have a pool structure over here. I'll walk you over here, see if I can get a quick little zoom in on that. We're gonna be doing some smaller roofs off of the pool. so. I want you to see what those look like if I can get around side. I guess I'll have to walk over here uh, so you can see those and see what kind of condition they're in. Um, and this will be ladder work as well. The high reach won't be able to get onto the pool deck, obviously. Uh, it's not gonna be weight bearing. 
um, and it does boom out quite a distance, but um, I'll give you an idea of what these look like. They're little, little uh, sort of gazebo type lanai's um, that allow the people to have some shade. Uh, so there's one right there. And then there's another one. There's the ocean right there, guys. Um, and we've got one more right here. And you can just kind of see, once I get a view here, you can kind of see how black those are. You can take a look at this. And that's gonna come really, really bright terracotta color. You can see the lichen on there and, uh, and just the type of condition that those are in. So we are uh, making everything look absolutely brand new over here. And um, the uh, property management is very thrilled. The homeowners are very thrilled. The, Board of Directors have already given us uh, much praise because these roofs haven't been cleaned in a very, very long time. I'll turn you around, give you one more picture of our guy out on the high reach. And um, once again, you can see how dirty those roofs on the bottom are. Those are some garages, the backside of a garage. What we're gonna do is boom out over those garages uh, with a Zeta pump, and we're gonna uh, lay on a, a mix right there as he's finishing up some touch-ups on this roof. So um, that is the work for today. There's about 54 garages in all. Um, there are about 16 uh, abreast. they are about 16. I got a guy saying hi right now. I'll turn you over there. He's giving you a big, a big wave. Or maybe not. He was hooting and hollering. But uh, anyway, um, that's sort of uh, what we're looking at. But let me show you what sort of the finished product looks like when you're done um, it just looks absolutely brand new almost like there's new tiles you can see what the ridge looks like and uh, you can see what all the tiles look like all the way across so with a really um, uh, substantially hot mix <clears throat> excuse me that's what you get have a great day everyone keep cleaning any questions or concerns give me a call 386-453-4213 TNT pressure cleaning dynamite service with explosive results